Detroiters know when they see this guy landing on Adams Field, that means Wayne State football is having a home game. But this wasn't your ordinary Warrior home game. It was literally unlike any other in Wayne State's history. The first night game ever. And hey, it was only fitting the Warriors would host their Gleag division rivals, the Ashland Eagles, for a showdown under the moonlight. The last time Wayne State beat Ashland, Detroit Lions running back Drake Bell rushed for six touchdowns against the Eagles back in 2009. But tonight in the first ever Under the Lights game in program history, the Warriors can change the course of recent history in unique fashion, but also change their momentum to hopefully get the first one of the season. Let's pick things up in the second quarter. Warriors down 6-0. Sophomore quarterback Carl Roscoe comes off the play action and rockets this pass 40 yards through the air and connects with Mike Johnson for a 70-yard touchdown to steal the lead. Boys got some hands. Later in the half, the Warriors up 14-6. The Eagles looking to score before halftime. Quarterback Austin Bruins pump fakes, tries to leave the pocket and gets sacked by Norris Friday and the ball comes loose. Ed Viverett, the pride of brothers right, scoops up the fumble and takes it to the end zone for six. Viverett will finish the game with three and a half sacks. Moving to the third quarter, the Warriors with a comfortable 21-6 lead, but the Eagles within disturb the peace. First and 10 at the Warrior 37, Tony Davis gets the handoffs and coughs up the football. Eric Swaterman returns it 42 yards for the touchdown. Two fumbles return for a touchdown. That's cray-cray. 21-13, Warriors up, Eagles. Clawing back. Still in the third. Eagles running back Anthony Taylor. Hit him with the juice on this one. Taylor gets the handoff. Gives a mini hurdle to the safety and takes off down the sideline. Almost took it home, but Garen Duhart trips him up at the two-yard line. Eagles in scoring position. Second and goal. They hand off to Anthony Taylor again and say, here, finish the job. Plunges in for a one-yard touchdown, which allows Ashland to come back from being down 15 to reclaim the lead. 22-21. Eagles up. But in the fourth quarter, the Warriors would answer back early. Carl Roscoe dropped back and immediately knew who he was targeting. Lobs a bomb up and with the defense all over him, senior Dominique Maybanks comes down with it and draws the pass interference. A 48-yard touchdown pass and Roscoe's second TD of the day. Warriors up 27-22 and looking to hold on. Now still in the fourth, Eagles with their last chance to retake the lead. Third and seven, and Austin Bruins working out of the shotgun. He scrambles out of the pocket, only to meet Ed Viverett, who gets his third sack of the evening. For a 12-yard loss and a 12-yard toss, Viverett throws Bruins' top. Oh, man. The ref is like, look here, young man. Bruins finished the game 8 of 15 for 105 yards and zero touchdowns, and it would only get worse for Ashley. With only two minutes left in the game, third and goal at the Ashland three, Wayne State backup quarterback Doug Griffin fakes to Tony Davis and scrambles in the end zone for his second rushing touchdown of the contest. Warriors able to add that exclamation point to the scoreboard. So 34-22 is your final. The Warriors able to reclaim the lead and hold off an Eagles late game rally. Warrior running back Tony Davis ended the game with 131 rushing yards. After the game, head coach Paul Winters praised his ball club's display of resilience. In the second half, when we thought we had a pretty decent lead, we fumbled the ball for a touchdown. We gave up another drive, and all of a sudden we're behind, and our kids again showed character, and they never flinched. And we talked about that all week because we flinched the week before when we got down. Coach, how important was it for you to come on and get this win in this particular game after suffering such a huge blowout loss last week? Every win's important. And, and, and like I said, our kids needed it. They needed to um, feel good about themselves. They worked so hard. You go out and lose a game. And all that work, you think it's for nothing. So now, you know, you can tell by the celebration in the locker room, you can tell by the smiles on everybody's faces, they got paid. You know, they got paid today. All that hard work paid off with a victory. The Warriors continue their Gliad Conference play next Saturday when they hit the road against Lake Erie September 21st.